Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Street Tips here, and uh, today I'm gonna try to shoot the entire video using my iPhone here. That's the goal for this video. But I want to show you, I've got, uh, my silver cell is full of silver, and I need to get this thing cleaned out today. Uh, if you look down into the filter there, there's the uh, leftover slimes from the impure silver shot that we feed into the cell. The anode uh, electrode bar there has been partially dissolved. But if you look up here, we've got zero. Let me see if I can get it. Give me something. Now it's zero flow now through there. Oh, there we go, I got a little bit of flow. But what happens is, as the silver dissolves, the slimes clog up the pores in that filter, and that reduces the current flow to a trickle. And uh, that should be up over one amp of current flow there, usually. Uh, here's the impure silver shot that we feed through it. That's about two kilos of silver right there or so. And so what we're gonna do now is shut this thing down and clean out the cell. We're gonna begin this by turning off the power supply. And then we're gonna come down here and I want to uh, get the basket out of the way. So I'm gonna disconnect the lead from the electrode bar there. And then what we'll do now is I've got a pair of tongs here, or uh, tweezers, and I've got a uh, container that I put my uh, old silver cells in, or a uh, filter basket. So I'm just gonna pull this up and then get it into this uh, container here. Boom, just like that. And I uh, secured the power to my cell, my silver cell. And I look down in here and I see some beautiful silver crystals growing in here. This will be about 1.5 kilos of pure silver down inside the silver cell. Just absolutely gorgeous. Figured I'd come over and take some footage of it. And we'll post this on the channel later this evening. Very nice. Here we go. We're gonna we're gonna uh, empty the electrolyte out now into this beaker and get this pure silver crystal harvested. I'm just gonna pick this up and dump it right into this beaker. Here we go. Here's our pure silver crystal, about 1.5 kilos. Okay, what we'll do now is we'll get the, uh, the silver into a separate beaker, and then we'll rinse all of the electrolyte off with some distilled water. And then we'll dry these crystals out till they're bone dry. 
and then uh, get a weight on them. All right, here we go. We're gonna rinse the crystals with some distilled water. They get real bright when you do that. We scrape down off the edges all the crystal that's grown inside the electrolytic cell here. This is a stainless steel bowl. And uh, when we pass the electric current to the impure shot, that's what this is. We pass an electric current through that impure shot and the current dissolves the silver. It passes through the filter basket to the filter in the filter basket, travels through the electrolyte here, and then plates out as absolutely pure elemental silver. All right, here we go. Now we're gonna transfer the uh, silver into this beaker here, carefully. A little bit of electrolyte will come over with it. There's a nice tree right there. See that? But uh, we're going to pour it all into this beaker now. And then I'm going to use distilled water and rinse the remaining electrolyte off of these pure silver crystals. this scraped out real good later on okay now what we'll do is pour off the remaining electrolyte in here into this uh, spare beaker and what I'll do is add copper to this beaker that I'm pouring off the electrolyte into and we'll use copper to cement the silver out of this solution. I'm going to use a little bit of distilled water now to uh, rinse our crystals off. Swirling that rinse water around in there to get all that blue liquid off, all the electrolyte off of the silver crystals. And their appearance really changes after you get all the electrolyte rinsed off. And then after you get the uh, moisture rinsed off of, or uh, dried off of it. It takes a very stunning, uh, bright white appearance. It's just beautiful to look at. You really can't catch it very good on the uh, on the video. It's uh, nothing like seeing this stuff in person. Pure silver crystal in this beaker. I'm gonna cover it up and set it off to the side out of the way. And then what we'll do here is add some uh, 
copper to this solution. I'll show you how we smooth that out. Here's a piece of copper. And uh, in accordance with the reactivity series of metals, we put this copper down in this electrolyte. The copper will go into the solution and the electrolyte will turn a very dark blue color. And the silver will come out of this solution onto the copper. See how it turns dark there? That's the silver cementing out on those pieces of copper. I'll add about three pieces of copper here and we'll just let this set and gather that copper up, or gather the silver up out of here and uh, melt it into shot and run it back through the cell. I've done a total of six rinses. This is the rinse water from rinse number six. You get a sample in this beaker. You can pour the rest of the water off into this temporary container. I'll use this rinse water to process more silver later on down the line. Now what we're gonna do, turn the blower on. I'm going to test this solution right here. This is our rinse water from rinse number six. I'm going to add some hydrochloric acid. If there's any silver left in this rinse water, it'll turn cloudy with silver chloride. If we've got all the silver rinsed off of our silver crystal, if we've got all the electrolyte rinsed off, this solution will stay crystal clear, just like it is. So it's safe to conclude that we've got all of the uh, silver nitrate electrolyte rinsed off of our silver crystal now. So I'm going to move it up here on the heat. Now what we'll do, let me see if we get the camera adjusted here. What we'll do is we'll put this up on the heat and we'll dry this off and then we'll uh, get a weight on it and see how much silver we produced in this batch. This has been in here about a half an hour now. I just had to come out and get a look at this and get it on the video. It's just uh, absolutely incredible looking. And all we've done is stuck some copper in there. And the silver is growing on the copper. Fantastic. We got this silver dried off completely. Let's see if we can get it in this uh, container right here. I've got a uh, scale set up down here. We're gonna put our container on the scale. We're gonna tear the scale to zero. And now we're gonna grab our silver down here. It's been completely dried off and see what kind of yield we got out of this batch. All righty. Looks like we've got 1,551 grams of pure silver crystal here. Very nice. All right, that'll conclude the video. Thanks for watching.